right, guys, I'll run it again for you in just a second. Actually, let me just start it right now. I get the test run portion just so you can. Half of that noise is just coming from the cabinet because I don't have it pulled back uh, and, and, and it's not tightened up all the way. But I want you to see how easy this is to get to to service. That slides back all the way. And you can see that this, uh, it's got a little bit, if you see the still photos, I've got the close up of the hour meter and it's real clean. I didn't repaint this because it wasn't bad enough to need any repainting. I just painted the enclosure and uh, this is a turbocharged version. This is a more, very expensive engine and very well preserved. So um, it's looking nice and tight. If you want to get something that looks, that doesn't look ugly for your, the side of your house, this is the way to go. Uh, it's a 35 kW on three phase, 27 kW if we convert it to run on single phase. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos, guys, for other generators I have, including that military 15 kW right here. That is a Yanmar uh, turbocharged also, 212 hours. If you want to find the video on that, I've got more over there on the other side of the yard that I won't be able to get to right now. This is my coach that we're getting ready and refurbing to go on tour. But it is a wreck inside right now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show too much of that. But I have I have some more storyline behind that. We're getting ready to go do a round of purchasing for more generators and bring them back to Florida again to sell them. These two units right here came from Michigan. Those are 16 kW standby units. You take the generator out, get rid of the light tower, and then you have something very similar to this that we put inside of an enclosure. Uh, I also sell buses to be converted into micro homes so um uh yeah this is a th that was running by the way with no muffler on it if you can see right here it's just got the straight pipe and nothing much else for the muffler i have mufflers but i'm not going to put one on there because i don't know how you want to adapt it if you want it you really don't even have to have one but it wasn't that loud without it um yeah, guys, 727-400-2694. I'm Generator Jeff in Clearwater, Florida. I sell home standby units. Check out my other video, too, about the LP unit that we just restored in the same power range, which is several thousand dollars less expensive than a diesel generator. I know a lot of people feel like they have to have diesel. They they want to have diesel, and, uh, you know, their, their trucks are diesel, and I'm the same way. Look, I have a diesel motorhome. In fact, that's my main home. It's not even my motorhome. Um, and we're stuck here cleaning up this yard and uh, moving to another location where it is air conditioned because it's too hot to be monkeying around with these generators in uh, Florida. But if you look at the case that I make for the LP generator, you're just using it for home for standby. The LP doesn't go bad. It's easy to get in a storm. And for the people that, you know, for my customers that want to get something, but just can't afford the diesel i recommend the lp as a perfectly well if not superior substitute depending on where you're located and what your access so if you're you might have natural gas being piped right into your neighborhood in that case you have an inexhaustible fuel supply and don't have to have a tank or anything with these uh, this style right here you're going to be adding a tank on the side or on the base in the size of your choice or you can get a number of these portable units and connect them with the um, quick, quick connects like this so you can switch them out there you go you can switch out your tanks every 15 gallons and get about 15 hours of runtime per tank that would be another way to do it for storm readiness all right give me a call if i can help you and i'm located in clearwater florida but i deliver statewide